Today I'm going to be reviewing the Wersch Portable Conical Burr Coffee Grinder. I'm going to see how this holds up to grind consistency. Okay, so let's unbox this. And apparently, according to the reviews, this is a very good portable grinder. And I wanted something that was really easy, small, that I, if I wanted to, I could travel with. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the AeroPress Go. I'm not the first person to review this. I'm taking this from the comparison to a pour over, Chemex pour over. And I wanna see what the taste difference is like. Some people swear by these. The other thing about this is really cool. This actually has numbers on the side. And with those numbers, you can change the consistency of the coffee and basically make an espresso or a latte or just a regular coffee. Well, let's go ahead and unbox it and see what it looks like inside. I have some pretty fancy boxing. I have to say this is this is pretty fancy and look at the shape. Okay, so it pops open and it opens like that and it looks like I can just go like that. Oh, okay, so when you open it, there's the filters. They, they give you some of these filters, which are the paper filters. By the way, I've read many times and heard many times, be very careful always to use the filter because if you don't, you're gonna get a terrible cup of coffee and you won't know why, but that's why. And this is how compact this is. Look, this is why people use this for camping and travel because you can throw it in a backpack or a bag and you pretty much have a coffee maker on the go. That's pretty amazing. So here's the components. So we have the rubber part. We have the, oh, this must, this is the holder for the filter. A little filter holder here, which is really nice. And clamp shut, so you can put some filters in there. And then we have the, this is the stirring device. And this is the scooper. Now they recommend using the scooper because it gives you the exact right serving to get the most efficient coffee. Now, of course, depending on your brew water ratio, this is all gonna be different depending on who you are and what you like and the type of bean you're roasting or uh, brewing. So a lot of variable there. This is the numbers I was telling you about. See the numbers? Like this is number one, my understanding is like espresso. And then two, it's like middle strong. And then three, it's obviously gonna be more watered down. So maybe, you know, the ratios change based on these numbers, but this is just a really quick indicator guide. And remember, using the scoop, you're going by their ratio and their sizing, so everything is pretty balanced. Again, it does depend on the bead. It depends on the water temperatures. A lot of factors involved in the entire brewing process. You can see that the presser, when they package it, it's inside. And this is a very, very firm. I mean, they really make this compress, which is really good because obviously when you're brewing coffee, you want no air. You just want all pressure. It sits over the cup like this. So basically here's how this works. So you have the container, you have the rubber part. A lot of people like to keep this on here so it doesn't slide around when you're making the coffee. Now, one thing important to remember, the, the, there's a part here that just snaps, screws onto the bottom, but you put the filter right in here and then you make sure this is clamped on. This just sits on top of here and you actually have to hold this because if you don't hold this, and you can put this over a cup too, you don't have to use this. And once you put the coffee and water in, you compress it down with this, the, the compressor. And it just goes like this and pushes down. So we're gonna do a full demonstration of how to actually use this and get a really good cup of coffee. And I'm gonna let you know how it stacks up against the Chemex, you're gonna see that. Okay, so let's unbox this. And this is the Wersch Burr Grinder. And apparently, according to the reviews, this is a very good portable grinder. And I wanted something that was really easy, small, that I, if I wanted to, I could travel with so I can make premium coffee on the go. I've never used this before, so I don't actually know how it works, but that's the simplicity of it in the box. It comes with a USB cable, and I got this because it has USB-C charger and a cleaner, which is really cool because I love that you can charge it. Okay, so let's go ahead and check the instructions just to see what this thing says. So I'm gonna actually grind the coffee, and then I'm gonna use the AeroPress Go, 
and I'm gonna try to get a really, the best possible brew I can with the right grind and the right beans and the right water temperature and see if I can make a really great coffee with this grinder and the Aereo Press. Let's see what the instructions say here. So we separate the main body. There we go. It looks like we put the coffee and beans right in here. And we put the, we lock, we lock it. I would probably put about 21 grams of coffee in there because that's pretty much my standard is around 21 grams. And I do usually around a 15, 16 water ratio. That's, that looks pretty tight, but that looks like about uh, 21 grams based on the scoop that I have from the Aerial Press and this size looks like it'll fit just in there. So we'll see about that when we get to the actual making of the coffee. And, and you just put this on, you lock it. I, I see, you know, basically what you do is interesting. You just hit the button and the grind starts. So this is adjustable. The adjuster is actually on the top. You can see that here. So it has a fine course and you can control that. I usually go around a medium. It says 38 clicks. Okay, so we turn it all the way to as far as it will go. And then we go one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. Based on the instructions, which by the way, there's typos in these instructions, so this is a little funky. I, I have to admit, this is a little odd. But it says, screw the knob clockwise into tightest. The dot point to the number set at starting point. So I went as tight as I could go, and then I went, counted the clicks backwards. I believe I went to 33. I prefer on the medium, more the medium side. It's a very sturdy device. I just have to say that. It actually, it actually seems like it's built very well. I'm gonna get some grinds done. And then I'm gonna make coffee with the Aerial Press using this. And that this is all a demonstration for me when I travel. Again, I'm gonna be reviewing the Wersch and the Aerial Press Go. And we're gonna see how these can work together to make a great travel kit companion for home brewed coffee. So guys, as you can see, I have this pretty much full and I'm right at, right on the about 20 grams. I could probably, I can put a few more beans in there and hit 21 grams. That's usually what I try to go for. So there's 21.3 grams and that's about full to the brim. Now with a little shaking, I was able to actually get this on, screw it on with the exact amount of coffee that I was just showing that 21.3 grams. And I have it set at 33 clicks based on the instructions, which was basically tighten it as far as it'll go tight and then count the amount of clicks and 33, between 33 and 38 is going to give me a, supposed to give me a medium more of a medium uh, later on the course because I'm going 33 clicks. Let's check it out. Okay, so I hit the button and it's grinding. I should probably just leave it be, shouldn't I? I can see that it's actually filling up. I'm gonna shake it a little just because I feel like if I tap it a little, it's gonna make sure it gets every nook and cranny. So far, I'm pretty impressed by this. I, and it's really grinding. I mean, it's, well, it's gonna be really interesting to see what the texture looks like when this is done. So again, based on the number of clicks, it will run its own course and it will stop on its own. Okay, so it finished grinding and it just turned off on its own. Now it's definitely a little on the messy side. So if you are making coffee and grinding, you know, on a clean space, I don't know that you'd be need to worry about it too much, but if you are trying to be clean and not get stain anything or anything, I definitely recommend being prepared. The consistency is about right. I mean, this is what I expect on 
a medium. And so that actually looks pretty good to me. It's definitely not espresso grind, which I don't want. But I, again, I like on the stronger side and um, that looks pretty good. I am pretty impressed actually by this. This is, and it looks very consistent. It smells great too, by the way. Let's go ahead and uh, make some coffee. It's really ideal if you have like a paper plate or something or a paper towel that you can clean this out when you're done. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, there's still beans in there. So I didn't actually even get the full grind. I'm gonna try to finish this. Just gonna tap it a few times. There we go. I think I got everything out of it now. Well, this thing isn't perfect, but as I just showed you, there were still beans. I didn't, there were still beans caught in the other side. So I think tapping it a little bit while you're using it and shaking it around, it's a little tricky to clean this, but the, the whole uh, apparatus does come apart. I, I don't know if you saw the earlier part of the video, but you can unscrew this and it comes all the way off. So, all right, let's go ahead and brew. So I'm just gonna wash everything first with a little bit of warm soap. I'll dry everything off really well too. And of course, this is the cup, the travel cup. And again, you don't actually have to bring this cup. You can, if you have your favorite coffee cup, you can just use that. All right, that's all on the cleaning. Just wanna show you something too. So on this Wersh coffee grinder, which by the way, is built very well. Um, Coarse is one direction and fine is the other. So it does indicate what direction to go to make it more coarse or more fine. So if you're just experimenting and fine tuning and watching it as it comes out and you're trying to get like an exact texture, it's, they make it pretty easy to do that just with a visual notes on there, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna go about 195 on the temperature. Let's see how that turns out. So I'm gonna open the filters that came with the AeroPress. So that, that just goes right in this little screen container. You just pop that in there. And again, I've heard from many people, they forget to use these and it's just a disaster and it ruins the whole coffee. So make sure you don't forget to get your filter. And remember, alternatively, you can use one of these metal filters, which I'm gonna do in a separate video, but this is just a reusable filter that makes it way easier so you don't have to get the paper filters. And by the way, on the paper filters, generally speaking, I like to uh, pour hot water over them first to get any taste off of them. It's normally what I do with the Chemex, so I'm not sure if you need to do it with these, but I I think I'm going to. I'm, I'm putting the filters in a bag because you know what? Making coffee on the table, on a counter with water, if I get these wet, it's gonna be, basically gonna ruin them. So I'm putting them and sealing them in a bag and putting them out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble the, uh... okay, so I've got the coffee maker here. Everything is clean and ready. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put, the first thing I'm gonna do is put the, fil the filters in. I'm gonna screw this on to the top part. Remember, this is the part with the numbers. I'm gonna put this cup inside the red. Let's see if you can see everything here. I'm gonna put that right inside there just to get some traction on the table. So it's not, oh, I made a mess here with all these coffee beans. Okay, that works. And then, so I have, when I put the water and the coffee in here, I'm gonna be able to do that without too much trouble. So, based on these instructions, we are going to, we're gonna put the coffee in. Am I gonna process, wash the filter first? No, I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the coffee in. It says level it out, which is pretty normal. Okay, we're at 192, we're almost at temperature. Now it says to put the coffee in. We're gonna fill it up to three to make a standard coffee. Again, there's the numbers. Okay, good. We're at our temperature. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up to three. Boom. I hope I did that. Oh, wow, look at that. It's already, it is, it's already blooming on its own. 
see that bubbling that's really a good sign that now what i want to do i'm going to set a timer so it says to start for 10 seconds oh yeah look at that and it's foaming up nicely well it smells really good it's, i definitely so it's been sitting for more than 30 seconds i'm going to put the presser in now you want to be really gentle and you want to hold on to this down below because this thing could slide out and this is actually it's really Okay, so you have to, now this is interesting because I felt like this this doesn't click on or anything. So if you push the wrong way or push too hard, you're gonna get a, I had to kind of level this out, but once it starts to level, you can feel the air releasing and it starts going in very smooth. Okay, this is all the way down. The coffee has been pushed into the cup. And I'm going to gently, again, you want to be really gentle because these, this is like, this thing feels like it could just fly out if you just don't take your time with it. You know, it could just release really fast. Coffee's been pressed out. It smells good. That's a pretty. What? That's actually good. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm, a, I'm actually a little bit impressed because I thought it was going to be bitter or something weird. This this is basically exactly how I like my coffee. I like it a little on the stronger side. I like a little translucence even on the darker. I like to be able to see through the 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 blend a little bit, but I mean this is a this is a clean cup of coffee that is not bitter. I'm impressed. I, I'm impressed. I'm actually gonna be able to travel and have a decent cup of coffee. I know that right now at this point. And I know after a few experimenting a little bit more and you know, timing a little bit, I can even tweak things a little bit. This is... I'm thoroughly impressed. I am completely impressed by this. And I've heard, I've, I've heard soft videos. I didn't believe it. I thought it was a mark, like a gimmick. So I, I heard, you know, a guy, I, several professionals saying that they prefer their coffee out of this device over almost anything else. And this is my first time ever doing this. The consistency is right. The color is right. It's exactly. And again, I use this burr grinder. This I know this is part of it because you can't not get you can't get the correct flavor, the correct consistency without the correct grind. Also, so you got the water temperature, the grind, and the coffee maker itself combined in this scenario. Um, if I was going to give this a rating on a scale from one to ten in terms of taste, the expected delivery of the coffee, everything of all these combine things I did here with, I'm gonna say this is like seven and a half eight easily seven and a half eight which I I thought I was gonna be like in a five or six maybe seven if you like coffee and you travel and you would like to make a good cup of coffee I highly recommend this no question Again, it's messy and I highly recommend, if you don't get this burr grinder, get another one that's similar or one of the hand crank. I just wanted the um, electrical one just cause I feel like I can get it. It's an exact motor consistency. Okay guys, well that's it. That's my review of the AeroPress Go and this, uh, this Wersch burr grinder. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful and I put all the links below. So check them out for yourself. See if there's something you want. Thanks for watching.